All Aboard, bringing you board games, tonight on All Aboard. In Rens Arcana, we are striving to become the most powerful mage in the land. We will gather essences to fuel our magic in order to conquer places of power, summon dragons and craft unique artifacts, and we'll collect gold to construct great monuments to our glory. Hi guys, I'm Gly. And I'm Pat. It's great to see you here at All Aboard. So today I'm going to be the duelist and that is going to allow me to gather an Elan during the collect phase and also I'll be able to exhaust this card and discard the death to get one gold on this card. And today I will be the scholar and he allows me to exhaust this card and discard one essence to draw one card. That's very nice. Yeah, this is one of my favorite cards. Yeah. <laughs> And we both start with five essences, one of each type. So these are the essences and this is Calm, Life, Elan, Death and Gold. And Gold is the most valuable of those. And then these here are magical items. So each turn we will get to use one of these magical items. And they give us a special ability which we'll explain as we draw the cards. And here we have Monuments. They cost four gold each and they are one of the primary sources of victory points as well. And they also have other abilities, which we will explain as we get them. And just to note that you can buy one from here, here, or you can take the top one from the deck for four gold. And here we have five places of power and that's another good source of victory points. And they also have abilities to gain us more essences and so on, but they are very expensive to buy. So. Hmm. And we also have eight artifact cards, which we drafted off camera. And this will be our entire deck for the game. And so we shuffle these up and deal ourselves three, which will be our starting hand. And then I've got the first player token, which we also randomly decided off camera. And so Gly gets to choose the first magic item. Okay. I'm going to choose divination. Okay. I think that I am going to get the calm Elan. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I start. All right, so it's the collection phase. So I collect an Elan from my duelist. I have nothing to collect. Just <laughs> All <yet>. right. <laughs> And I can also collect a Cam or an Elan. And I think I am going to collect a, I think I'll collect a Cam. Okay, so I'm going to start by playing my Chalice of Fire and that's going to cost me one gold and one Elan. And what that allows me to do is during the collection phase, I will get two Elan and I can also exhaust this card and discard an Elan to reanimate an exhausted card. Hmm. I'm going to play my wind up man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So that's an Elan, life, and calm, and a gold. So if there is an essence left on this card, add two essence of each color on wind up man. So I can exhaust this and discard one essence to put it on this card. Right. And that first part is during the collection phase, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And back to me, um, I am going to discard a death and exhaust this card to get a gold. I'm going to exhaust my divination to get three cards. One, two, three, and then discard three. Mm, a nice way to get the cards you want. Yeah. I discard it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to discard my Wind Dragon to get two essences. So you can discard a card from your hand and you can take any two resources except for gold or you can take one gold. And in this case, I would like to have, let's see, I need a death and a life. Life and death. And I'm going to exhaust my scholar and discard one death essence to draw a new card. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm going to play my mermaid. And that's going to cost two calm and two life. Mm. 
I'm going to discard my elemental spring for a gold. Oh. All right, I'm going to spend an Elan and exhaust my Chalice of Fire, and that'll allow me to reanimate my Duelist. Ooh. Okay, so I will discard my Trent to get two essences, which is a life and a calm. Okay, and once again, I'm going to discard a death and exhaust my duelist to get a gold. Ooh. Okay, so I will exhaust my wind-up man and discard a gold to put it on this card. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that I can do, so I am going to pass. And that means that I leave back my magic item. And I must choose a different one now. Uh, so I think I'm going to take the research. And research does exactly what Life Scholar does. <laughs> I exhaust research and I discard an essence to draw one card. But it's passed now. And then I draw a new card. Okay, so I am going to pass as well. So I will change my divination to mm -hmm, uh, reanimate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Okay, so we check for victory and neither of us <laughs> neither have 10 us. points. So <laughs> yeah. then we reanimate all of our cards and we are on to collection phase. So we can collect resources off of our cards if we like, if there's resources on top of them. But if we take one, we must take them all. We can't just decide to take some of them. Uh, and I am, of course, going to take my gold here. There's no benefit to leaving it on. I'm going to add two gold here because my wind up man, if there's uh, essence left on this card, I can add two of the same color during collection phase. But if I choose to get that, uh, to get that essence, then I have to get everything and I don't add Two. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then collection. So I get an Elan here and on my duelist, two Elan from my Chalice of Fire. I get a Calm from my Mermaid. And I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Do you have any collection? No, I have no collection. Okay. So it is me. Mm hmm. All right, I'm going to play my Dwarven Pickaxe. So that's going to cost me an Elan. And that allows me to exhaust this card and an Elan to get a gold. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to exhaust my Scholar and then discard a Calm to get a new card. Yeah, that's a really nice ability. Oh, you're already through the full mm -hmm. deck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I will exhaust my Dwarven Pickaxe and spend an Elan to get a gold. Hmm. I haven't got any collection. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to exhaust my Wind of Man and then discard a life to put on this card. Okay, I will discard a Calm to draw a card using Research. So I am going to discard my water dragon to get um, two essences. So that would be an Elan and a Calm. Okay, that's all I can do for now. So I'm going to pass. And I should have mentioned that the first person to pass becomes the first player, the starting so player for the next the round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so because I pass, I'll leave back my research and I'll take the divination, the same one as mm. I just had. Okay, so I'm going to exhaust my reanimate and discard my calm to unexhaust my wind up man. Okay. And then I'm going to exhaust my wind up man again and then discard my Elan to put on this oh. card. And I think I've nothing else to do, so um, I will pass. Okay. And I will change my reanimate to uh, 
death and life. Okay. All right, and check victory. So none of us have won yet. I have one point because the starting <laughs> player token is worth one point. So we can reanimate all of our cards. Okay, and I draw a card from passing and... Okay, so we're back to collection phase, right? So I'm going to take my gold from my Dwarven Pickaxe. I get a Calm from my Mermaid. Two Elan from the Chalice of Fire and another Elan from the Duelist. Alright, so I will draw a card from the passing as well. And I, my Wind Up Man, I'm not going to collect them just yet. So I will have a Two Elan, two life, and two gold. Oh, that's very nice. And just for keeps building here, up. I'm going to collect a death. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. And I'm the first player again, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use my divination to draw three cards. One, two, three. And add them to my hand, but I have to discard three cards as well, so... Discard one. You almost played all your cards, half of your cards now. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, two. And yeah, okay, three. Yeah. All right, so me, I am going to exhaust my scholar and discard one death for a new card. Uh, I am going to exhaust this and discard an Elan for a gold. I'm going to discard my cursed skull for a gold. Oh, sorry, this doesn't go on the card. This actually comes into my hand. Mm -hmm. In which case, I'm going to use it to buy Solomon's Mine. So that's four gold, two, three, four, and I'll take the first monument. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to discard my flaming peak for a gold. Okay, I'm going to use my new Solomon's Mine and exhaust it to get a gold. Okay, I'm going to play my Horn of Plenty, which is two gold. Oh, okay. That's a very good card, wow. Yeah, it's good, but I wasn't able to play it straight away. Mm. I could have if I've used my wind up mine, but I was just like stocking them. <laughs> he, for now. He's gathering up a nice amount there, isn't he? Okay, I'm going to discard my dancing sword to get a life. Um, sorry, that's a camp. A life and an Elan. And then a life. Did you get a life? I got a life. Okay. <laughs> Get you a get a life? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to exhaust my Horn of Plenty to get three calm. Wow. But I can choose three essences or, um, but not gold, or I can exhaust it for gold. Wow, that's going to get you a lot of essences and your Wind of Man there as well. Yeah, but I think I'm going to have to collect my Wind of Man or else it's going to be useless if I just keep collecting <laughs> and not using it. Okay, I'm going to play the Chalice of Life. So, mm. so that's going to cost a gold, a life, and a calm. I'm going to pass. Okay, there you go. I will ch change my death life to reanimate. And a new card. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to spend an Elan and exhaust this card to reanimate Solomon's Mine. Oh. And it, you pass, yeah, right? Pass, you and go. so then I'll exhaust that again to get a gold. And that's it. I think I pass as well. Okay, so give back Divination and I think I'll take Research. Okay, so check for victory. Check <laughs> so you have a point me. now. I have you one have point. point. Okay, and then we can straighten up our cards. Did you get a new card? And I get a new card. 
and collection collection so i'm going to collect my wind up man now oh very yeah. nice okay it's too much there is that so, it yeah that's all i can collect okay so i get an elan for my duelist i get a calm and a life for my chalice of life i get two wow. elan for my chalice of fire and i get a calm for my mermaid and that i think is everything so i'm going to exhaust my horn of plenty for three death i will play my ring of midas and that's a life and a gold hmm. Life and gold. So that allows me to discard two life to put gold on this card, or I can exhaust the card to put a gold on it. I'm going to buy the Dragon Slayer. Oh, that's a very nice card. Yeah, so that's uh, three Elan. It's three Elan, three life, three calm, and three death. Oh, Wind up man is paying yeah. off. <laughs> The wind up man worked hard for that <laughs> he did okay i am going to spend uh two of my calm to put two calm and a life on this card okay i'm going to use four um i'm going to spend four uh, gold yeah for the golden statue oh I will exhaust my Ring of Midas to put a gold on it. I am going to discard my Trent. Oh, yeah. Discard my Trent for um, a life and an Elan. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'll exhaust this and spend an Elan for a gold. And I'll exhaust my scholar and discard an Elan to draw a new card. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'll exhaust my research and discard an Elan to draw a card as well. Okay, so I am going to exhaust my reanimate and discard a life to reanimate my horn of plenty oh wow okay i'll exhaust solomon's mind to get a gold okay so for my dragon's lair i can either place a dragon at the at its cost less than three essences or i can exhaust this card for two gold or exhaust this card and exhaust a dragon to put two gold on these cards, which means oh. one victory point per gold. Wow, okay. Yes, Very but powerful. for now, I'm using the second option. I'm going to exhaust this for two gold. Mm. I'm going to discard my wind dragon for a death and uh, one other resource. Uh, what would I like? I think think I want a life. You want a life? <laughs> I love a life. <laughs> I love a life. Alright, I'm going to exhaust my wind up man and discard my gold to put it on this card. I'm going to exhaust my duelist and a death to put a gold. And I'm going to exhaust my horn of plenty to get three essences, so maybe a death an Elan in a calm. Some random essences. <laughs> right. I don't even have a card to play it with. No. I'm going to spend an Elan and exhaust my Chalice of Fire to reanimate Solomon's Mine. Okay, and uh, I think that's all I can do for now. I'm going to pass. Okay. And I will change my reanimate to mm, calm and Elan. Oh, yeah, calm and Elan. Oh, 
Okay. And I will draw a card. And I'll exhaust Solomon's mind for a gold. And hmm. I think that's everything I can do for now. So I'm going to pass as well. So I draw a card and then my research goes back and this time I will take I think your Solomon's there goes to your hand. To oh you're right, it yeah. does, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what, I think I might take the research. Okay. Should I? Yes. Research. Okay, and next round. Okay, so nobody's oh, won yet. Nobody's won yet. <laughs> Tough, huh? Yeah. It takes a little bit of time. And okay, and collection phase. Collection. So, take everything off this. And I get an Elan for my duelist. I get a Calm and a Life for the Chalice of Life. I get two Elan for my Chalice of Fire. And I get a Calm for my Mermaid. I think that's all. Okay. For, wow. It's <laughs> <laughs> for you to collect. I'm, I will collect a Calm. And here I will not collect it yet. But I'll pick two gold in mind that man. Mm -hmm. okay. So I go first. Yep. And I am going to exhaust my scholar and discard um discard an uh, calm for a new card. Okay, I'm going to spend four Elan, two life and a gold to get the dwarven mines. Mm -hmm. All right, so me, I'm going to exhaust my Horn of Plenty to get three calm. All right. I'm going to discard this card to get a calm and an Elan. All right. I'm going to play the Water Dragon. But because I have the Dragon Slayer, I can place a Dragon at its cost minus 3. So that's 6 Elan. i sorry, 6 Calm. So I can pay with 3 Calm. Oh, okay. Oh, your Dragons are out, huh? Yeah, my Dragons are out. Okay, and I am... But don't worry, I'm not going to attack you just yet. <laughs> just yet. I, 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 have, uh, I have my defense. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to spend one, two, three, four, five, calm, two Elan, and two life. And that will get me the sunken reef. Oh. Okay, so me, I am going to exhaust my dragon slayer and exhaust my dragon as well to put two gold in this card. Oh, okay. You're getting your gold. Ah, oh, that's two gold on the card, right? Yeah, yeah. so that's a um, victory point. Oh, I see. Okay. That's two victory points, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, exhaust my Solomon's Mine for a gold. I'm going to discard my Hypnotic Basin for a gold. Hmm. I'm not going to get to use my research, I think. Okay, I'm going to exhaust this and discard a gold to put it on this card. Exhaust an animal? No, it's uh, exhaust this card and discard any resource to put it on any card. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to discard my elemental spring for a gold. More of a gold engine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to spend four. Four gold. Gold, and I'm going to buy the obelisk. Okay. And that obelisk gives me six resources. Okay, uh, so for six Elan. <laughs> okay, so my goal. Hmm. 
I'm going to use my four gold to buy. I'm gonna take my chance. <laughs> mm. Hanging gardens. Oh, nice. Three resources. Okay. Mm. Three essences. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, and I've got five. One, two, three, four, five Elan here, and I'm going to exhaust my Dwarven Mine mm -hmm. and spend five of these Elan to get three gold. Mm. Okay, so me, there's literally nothing I can do right now, so I am going to pass and change my calm to alchemy okay i'm and going I to get a new card i'll exhaust my ring of midas to get a gold on the card and i'll spend an elan and exhaust this to reanimate the mermaid mm -hmm. and then i'll Exhaust the mermaid and spend the gold to put it on here. Oh. Let's oh. move this a bit closer here so you have space for your. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this cami land is there as well, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, and now let's see what else I can do. Let me just move my big cards down here yeah so you have more space okay uh, I could draw a card here and spend a gold you know what I will because I can always discard it and get a gold back for it so I'll just mm -hmm. see if this is useful to me not really so I'm going to discard this and take a gold back mm -hmm. okay Okay, and I pass, so this can go back and I will take a, I think I'll take a reanimate. Mm. Okay. Okay, and then we annex those cards. Okay, and none of us have won yet. So how yeah. many points have you got? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And I get a card for my passing. Card and collection phase. So you can collect first. I can collect first. So first I will collect my gold here. And then I can uh, take three essences. So I'll an Elan, a life and a death. Yeah. Nothing here. Nothing here and nothing here. This is on the card. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for me, I get an Elan for my duelist. I get a gold from the sunken reef. Also, my dwarf mines are here and they also give me a gold. And I get a life and a calm. From the chalice of life and two elan from the chalice of fire and a calm from the mermaid <laughs> <laughs> and i think that's all i can get for now yeah mm -hmm. all right so i am oh and i take this back off the ring yeah so i go first so i will exhaust my dragon lair as well as my dragon to put two gold here I will exhaust Solomon's mind to get a gold. Okay. I'm going to this I'm going to exhaust my alchemy and discard four essences for two gold. I will discard an Elan and exhaust the dwarven pickaxe for a gold. Mm -hmm. Too many gold, huh? <laughs> yeah, lots of gold. I'm going to exhaust my scholar and then discard a death essence to uh, draw a card. 
Okay, I'm going to exhaust the mermaid and put a gold on here. Right. I am going to uh, use four of my gold and I will get the oracle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I'll discard two calm and a life to put a uh, calm on this card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exhaust my oracle and uh, draw three cards she order put back. May also use on monument deck. Mm. So I'm going to draw three cards. Oh, sorry, three there. Okay, I will spend an Elan and exhaust this to reanimate my mermaid. Okay, I'm going to exhaust my Horn of Plenty for a gold. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll exhaust my mermaid to put a gold. Wow, you made use of that <laughs> mermaid one, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to discard this card for a gold. Oh. Okay, and I'll discard my Elan to reanimate my mermaid. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to discard this card for a gold. Okay, and <laughs> same with the mermaid again. Put yeah. another gold there. And I think there's not a thing I can do. I'm going to pass. Okay. To get the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you needed to keep three gold, right? Yeah. So you couldn't buy a, a monument here. Yeah, I needed a three gold for my golden statue. So how many points have you got now? One, one two, two, three, and three, three six. Plus four. Ten. Thirteen. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I can catch you there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I can only get up to 11. 11. Okay, mm. I'll spend four gold and go for the pyramids. And I got one <laughs> card library, okay. <laughs> and so then I can exhaust the library to draw one card. And. You won't else have I a chance collect? to get no. the pyramid because remember I have the oracle that I can oh, that I use Oh, that's the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that worked out well for you. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to take my chance as well on that earlier, but then <laughs> could be one. <laughs> so there's nothing I can do, is there? I can, no, this just puts a gold on the card, so that's no use to me. And that's it. I can discard this to get a gold and this to get another gold. And that's all I can do. Two gold. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's it. it. All right. So before we go to final scoring, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more board game contents. Okay. Yeah, yeah guys, your thumbs up and your subscriptions really help us. So please take a second to do that for us. And so final scoring. So I've got a first player victory point. So that's one, two, three, and I have four goals here. Plus four is seven. Okay. Eight, nine, ten. And I'll be exhausting this card, my oh. golden statue, and discarding three of my goals for additional three. Wow, okay. So, so that's thirteen. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, I think that's more than I have. So one here, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, exactly ten. ten. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you won. <laughs> if I didn't have this, we'll be neck and neck. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> My duelist was able to collect an Elan each round, but I wasn't generating any death, so I wasn't able to take full advantage of his ability to get gold. I was excited when I drew the scholar. Being able to get an extra card is a big help. 
this is the same with a research magic item. And even if you have to spend an essence to get that new card, you can turn that card into a gold or two essences of your choice. The Places of Power and Monuments are your main sources of victory points in Res Arcana. The Places of Power are a little bit more powerful, but they cost a lot of essences. It's nice if you can get your hands on a card like the Horn of Plenty or the Hanging Gardens, which give you a lot of resources which you can then use to buy the Places of Power. I focused my engine on getting the Dragon Slayer. It's just too powerful not to aim for, and I knew that I have a Dragon card in my deck which I could play later on for victory points. These two cards have amazing synergy. Near the end of the game I started to get good synergy with my Mermaid, Chalice of Fire and Dwarven Mines. I had the cards to generate gold, so I was able to use the Mermaid to put the gold on the Dwarven Mines. Then I was able to reanimate the Mermaid using the Chalice of Fire and do it again. It just came a little bit too late for me. I'm glad I took the Golden Statue Monument. I was generating gold easily to pay for the extra 3 points at the end that made a difference on our score. So that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed our video of Res Arcana and we hope to see you again on our next video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.